name is Talia Erdal. I studied here at Trinity Laban in 2019-20 and I did the independent study program. It's a dream. I mean, it's so, it's so wonderful. I've been waiting for it for two years almost <laughs> since I won the competition. And uh, the orchestra is great. Maestro Andre is great. It's, uh, it's such a pleasure working with him. And, uh, and you don't get many opportunities to do this concerto with full orchestra. So that was really like a, a dream I was waiting for. And, and now it's coming true. So when, when I did the year at Trinity Laban, I actually took a year off my orchestra job in Israel. Um, and it was an opportunity for me to focus again on practicing and being creative, improving as a cellist, as a musician. And I think I, I had this feeling that if I won't learn this concerto now, I will never have time to do it in my life. <laughs> So I think it was, it was a kind of a goal that I set for myself because it's a huge, challenging piece. And, and when I came here, I had time, I had a wonderful teacher to help me, uh, and I could just focus and do it. So I was like, yes, I want to do it now. <laughs> and I also just love the piece. <laughs> it's a great piece. It's really beautiful. <laughs> I think I was looking for a place where I could be creative and Trinity Laban was kind of the perfect place for that year off. It was great because I, I came here, I was like, hi, I'm doing this program, can I please also get some composition lessons? And they were like, yes, of course, have some composition lessons, have also a composition seminar where you can write stuff for players and record it and get it published. And like, you know, so it, it was really great because I had a lot of contacts out of that. I had um, a lot of just motivation to be creative and do new projects. It's not the kind of school where they just train people to be like a racehorse musician that only plays competitions and is a great instrumentalist, but, uh, but they really tried to create musicians with broader horizons, um, which is really fun. I don't know, maybe they have advice for me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy. I don't know. I feel, I feel like that's something that I also constantly try to remind myself because this profession can be so stressful and, and very demanding. You know, so you, you constantly feel like you have to choose and like you, you have to kind of like choose your path and do this or that. And, and like, oh my God, what am I going to do with my future? But uh, I think as, as long as you enjoy what you're doing and, and as long as you enjoy the process, at least most of the times, um, it will be fine, I guess. <laughs> because it means you do something that you love and, and that's the most important thing. I, know, I, I think the best thing is to just experience the music as as they do. Um, I think I, also as an audience, I don't like so much knowing what to expect or being told what to feel when I go to a performance um, because I want to have my, my own fresh new experience. So yeah, I, I, I just hope they'll enjoy it and, uh, and listen. <laughs>